Paulo Costa says he has signed the contract to fight Robert Whitaker at UFC 298. Until the fight actually happens, I think nobody's going to be 100% sure. Yagos versus Bahamandes, April 6th. Nicolau thinks that cop was irresponsible, inconsistent, and disrespectful, missing weight by 3.5 pounds. Six of cop's last eight scheduled fights have not happened due to a variety of reasons. Cop is sympathetic to Matus Nicolau, though I really understand Matus's stance, and I don't blame him for anything. He did his part, and I didn't do mine. Johnny Walker says one day for sure he will be fighting at heavyweight, but if he beats on Goliath, he will be ranked pretty high in the light heavyweight division. Jackson versus Hernandez on April 6th. High chance of a finish in that fight. Performance bonuses for one fight night 18, 50k apiece. Figueredo opens as not that big of a favorite versus Cody Garbrandt, so I think a lot of people have started betting on him already and started swaying the odds. Adesanya is going to be cage side next weekend for this fight, so the assumption is he will be going into the cage afterwards and challenging the winner. Both guys would like this fight. DDP has history with Adesanya. For Strickland, it would sell a lot of pay-per-views, so he'd be happy with that. And it's crazy to say, but the first fight was easy for him. He won four rounds to one. Will the second fight go that way? Who knows, but his confidence levels going into the rematch are going to be astronomically higher than they were going into the first fight. Obviously, Sneeko doesn't want to fight me. Adding in all these stupid stipulations, he knows will never happen. Typical bully. They talk and they talk beyond the safety of their screen, or even in the bathroom, recklessly, and they never face consequences. There's so many people out there like him. My goal here was to stand up to a bully. Kids, get yourself into Muay Thai or Jiu Jitsu so you can learn self-defense and you don't have to deal with idiots like Sneeko.